Hi guys, and I'm back with a, a request video, a review um, of this Loco. Um, before I start, I've got two mentions, and one of them is by the guy who, who requests this video. Um, and they are uh, Mark Fincher. Please go and check out his channel. Uh, some great Loco, some great information. Um, he's got, you know, it's a great channel. Please go check it out. And the guy who requested it, I believe, is from Australia, and his channel is called Douglas Bend Railway. Um, a lot of, uh, uh, well, I think they're Australian locomotives. I'm not 100 percent sure they are. I don't really want to offend any any countries here, but I think they're Australian, um, and it is nice to see non-British locos and non-American locos. Um, so please check out his channel. I'll put both the links to their channels in the description and uh, we'll get on with the review. So as you can see it's a old Hornby style um, uh, loco, so it's Hornby Railways, you know it's old. Um, a nice picture there of the loco um, and it says uh, this is a well, this one is not the Mallard. It was the Mallard, and I got it weathered and renamed and renumbered. Uh, this one is um, it's a BR Class A4 Pacific Commonwealth of Australia. Um, it's a very nice Lego. So yeah, I'll open it up and we'll get on with it. So, yeah, just a bit of car with the picture of the um, look at well, the look at that was uh, you get the usual um, stuff from tri uh, from Hornby how to operate uh, usual stuff you know um, uh, uh, general general information tracks shunters diesels etc etc uh, TV and uh, zero one down the bottom there zero one um, which I don't have I'm DC, I'm DC, and you get the picture of uh, the usual stuff there. Put that over there, and uh, take out this polystyrene, um, pop up polystyrene, well, packaging, which I do like, and it's easy to get the Lecos back in. Um, so yeah, that's the loco up. Uh, what shall we start with first? I think we'll start with the um, tender. As you see, this is a as you see by all the traction tires and the gearing. This is a uh, turn driven loco. Runs superb. No, my local camera it probably won't. Uh, it runs superb. So what do we have? Um, door steps. Um, as you see, it's like a really end of steam look weathered. Um, handrails, most of it's all moulded. Uh, big, big, big coal load. Um, I think that's the late crest there. You just make it out, or if you can or not. Um, yeah, I got this um, loco from my local model shop in Burton. Um, uh, and then we have. Loco, it is number um, 60012. We've got weathering, it's got a separate applied handrail. Uh, it has got painted cab detail, but you know, it's just gold. Uh, better than nothing, I suggest. Um, same on this side, all from is weathered. Uh, runs, you know, three wheel runs, perfect. Uh, there's the um, we like Commonwealth of Australia. Um, some detail on the front. Um, so it's nice. It's for its age. It's a nice loco, and I just wanted um, a different, a different A4 basically from you know the usual stuff. Uh, you know, all pristine. Uh, but this is like late in its life, and uh, I wanted a weathered one and an unusual name. So I've gone for that. Um, so yeah, it's a nice Lego overall. I will not be doing a history on this one. 
Um, but if people want me to do history, I can. I will gladly do the history. Uh, but I don't plan to do history for this one. Uh, so what we'll do next is I'll get it on the board and uh, we'll show you what it can and can't do and uh, take it from there. Uh, please remember to, do, to check out the two people, Mark Fitcher and um, Douglas Bend R R Railway. Um, please check them out. Uh, please show them the love and the kindness you did with me because uh, their stuff is way better than mine a lot better than mine and you showed me a lot of love and yeah and commenting and stuff so please yeah um so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video uh god bless take care bye so yeah that's her on the track she does look pretty good i am sorry that the review isn't as in depth um as it normally be but i've got like five more a4s and I just want to try something different. I do apologise. And I do have another Hornby Railways one. So it's not not it's not a great loss. Um, so yeah, slow running. Let's take it from here. That isn't bad.